The hazardous materials suit, or, a hazmat suit, it is a protective suit that covers the body, the hands, the eyes, feet, and respiratory system, since it usually contains a self-contained breathing apparatus, these suits have different versions, depending on how much protective the suit is, for example, in the US and Brazil, there are four levels, and they are classified as A, B, C, and D, A, being the most protective, used in most extreme cases of chemical damage, and D being the least protective, which is used by everyday workers that require protection, while in Europe there are six different types of suits, these suits protect from toxic materials, such as, chemical materials, nuclear materials, biological materials, and high temperature, and most importantly, the toxicity of TikTok. I am a boxity box, I am usually made out of cardboard, but never with rocks. I can be a house for your cat, I can be a house for your duck, just pray the delivery man doesn't slam me in the back of the truck, keep me away from flames, or water and a wire, because if you are not careful with me, I could start a house fire. I carry your items, but you get rid of me in a minute or two, so most of the time I am useless. Just like you too. Hello everyone and welcome back to our show, how well can you remember the answer, where we ask our contestants, some fast easy to solve questions, and they have to remember as much as they can of those answers, and win a big prize, right now it's Barbara's turn, how are you feeling Barbara? I am a little bit nervous. Well there is nothing to worry about, alright now are you ready? Yes. Good. Alright now, the first question, what animals are considered to be humans primates? Apes. That's correct, what do you call someone between the age of 10 and 19? A teen. That's is correct again, third question, what is the opposite of did? Didn't. Wonderful, you are on a roll. Fourth question, what the opposite of revive is? Kill. Correct. Now for the final one, what is the object of a verb to refer to a male? Himself. You are absolutely correct. That is amazing Barbara. Okay now, for the real test, how well can you remember the answers that you said? Well, the first one was apes. And the second one was a teen. Third one. I believe it was didn't. The fourth is kill. And the last one is himself. So in order can you recite the answers? Oh, okay, apes, teen, didn't, kill, himself. Can you say them fast? Apes teen didn't kill himself. Again? Apes teen didn't kill himself. Again? Apes teen didn't kill himself. Apes teen didn't kill himself. Spread the word. <laughs> Laughing at one of the most common emotions that humans express on a daily basis, it is commonly believed that it is a social gesture, much like language, even that it transcends all languages, researchers believe that its purpose is to strengthen the bonds between potential mates, much like animals when they perform mating dances and songs to their partners, speaking of animals, Apes and even rats have been recorded doing some form of laughter, also, laughter has lots of great health benefits, while mentally, it helps to block stress hormones, that's why we laugh at stressful situations do deflect some of that stress, and physically it helps increasing the LT and LB cells to fend against diseases, however there are some situations, where it is nearly impossible to laugh, like when you are faced with a tragedy, or depression, or when you are watching a Lily Pons video. In 1975, Muhammad Ali and Joe Frazier had their legendary third fight, after they came out tied in the previous two matches, and when Muhammad Ali won that match he put his name among the legends. Later in the same year, Ali fought George Foreman, another legendary boxer of that time, because people wanted to see who is the best of the best, and again, Muhammad Ali won that title and the heart of millions, and in 1980, Ray Leonard fought Roberto Duran two times back to back, where the fight took place after of some insults that Roberto Duran said towards Ray Leonard, that sparked the interest of the fans, so they wanted to see who would win in a fight between them, 
where Duran won the first fight, and then Ray got his revenge during the second, and in 1997, the second fight between the boxing legends Evander Holyfield and Mike Tyson, is remembered by all fans by the famous biting incident, where Mike Tyson bit the ear of his opponent, which got him disqualified and had his boxing license removed from him. But not without going down in the memory of everyone, and nowadays, the biggest boxing match is between two YouTubers that everyone just wants to see them get punched in the face. Interesting. The famous phrase, cup half full, serves as a test, on someone's personality, the premise goes like this, if they see it as half full, then they are optimistic, if they see it half empty then they are pessimistic, there are people that even see it as both, but the real answer is, that no one asks about how the cup is, everyday cups are suffering from people judging their appearances, but no one knows that this puts the cups into severe psychological trauma, and even depression, but with your help, you can help the cups reach happiness and find their voice, so join our cause, and stop cup shaming, go hug a cup, and make a difference. In Dublin in 1952, the Nobel Prize physicist Erwin Schrödinger gave a lecture that he jokingly said, that it may seem lunatic, in which he revealed that his equations showed multiple pasts of the universe, however they were not alternative pasts, but instead they were happening simultaneously, those words gave birth to the multiverse theory, that believes in the existence of multiple realities happening all at once, each in their own universe, these new universes are born from all the different possibilities, whether you chose a certain type of cereal, or a certain tie color, by choosing either, you have created a new universe where the other possibility has taken place instead, so if you think of a possibility of something happening, then that means there is a universe where that possibility is real, however all scientists agree, that there is only one universe can never exist, which is a universe where your crush loves you back. Hair comes in all different shapes and colors, from curly hair, to bowl cut hair, to the Karen, but how many hairs are there on the human head, the average number of hairs on a black haired person is 100 thousands, however the average number actually varies from one color to another, at the bottom of the list, red hair averages at 90 thousands, and then after black, brown hair averages at 110 thousands, and at the top of the list, blonde hair averages at 150 thousands, but no matter what type of hair do you have, I love you all as much as the hairs on my head. Oh no. Vitamins are important, and the lack of any of them would lead to some serious health ramifications, for example, the lack of vitamin A could lead to problems like liver disorders, or fat malabsorption, and the lack of vitamin B leads to fatigue and confusion, and even anemia, the absence of vitamin C cause scurvy, and exhaustion, spontaneous bleeding, Finally the lack of vitamin D, weakens the immune system, and cause a disease called rickets, which soften the bones, so, if you have liver disorders, anemia, and rickets, that means you are lacking vitamins B, A, and D, and that's bad. You should see a doctor about that. Alright, next. What's your son's name sir? His name is 47. You do realize that's a number. Yes, he will be a ruthless unstoppable hitman agent. I regret even asking, next, his name is the one, but it's pronounced Neo, he will save everyone from the Matrix. You guys don't seem to get this names thing don't you? Whatever, next. His name will be 69, he will be a great rapper. But I hope he won't be a snitch. I hate this job, next. My son's name is Kyle. What? Finally, an actual normal name. But it is written like this. God damn it. Some facts about Uranus. The planet. I am talking about the planet. Uranus moons are named after Shakespearean characters, which are Oberon, Titania, and Miranda. Uranus diameter is around 3100 miles which means you can fit 63 Earths inside Uranus, its atmosphere is made of, 
ammonia and the methane ice crystals that give the planet its pale blue color. It also has water, so yes, Uranus is wet.